Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is going to be a class spotlight on the Time Mage. So let's get started. The Time Mage is a utility mage that uses uh, stop moves and uh, like haste moves so that the party acts quicker. Um, the Time Mage works best if you're using Yenfly's CTB. Um, has one move that uh, doesn't really work with ATB or CTB, but it'll work in a default uh, battle system. That would be the quick, which will double their actions. Uh, maybe I'm not using it correctly. Someone can uh, tell me if this is working for them. Um, the rest of everything works perfectly with CTB. Um, the first thing I normally do when I start a battle who, with somebody who can use haste is we're going to haste the whole party. So the party's going to get an extra 20% agility, which is going to increase their... Uh, the, their number of actions basically. Um, if they're going to get plus 100 attack speed and they're going to get plus 25 start and turn rate so they should be getting more actions per actual combat round. So let's start off with the haste again. I'm not going to be using too many of the other classes moves. We're going to just focus on uh, the, the time mage here. Now Drifty's using an uh, Uchi Katana that's got uh, two attacks, so that's why he swings twice. His attacks are also a little bit weaker than uh, the other fighters, but he uh, doubled attack. So the Time Mage has a Time Bolt, which does magic damage. It does a special time damage. It's a different uh, type. And it's also going to knock the, uh, the enemy, the target, back behind. We can see the wolf. Uh, it's being targeted here, so when he gets hit with a time bolt, he should be knocked back into the, the turn. You see, he lost quite a bit of time there. He didn't even get to go, he got sent to the, to the end. The Time Mage has a move called X Attack, which is going to grant an additional swing. And since our uh, Blue Mage has a Vampire Sword and it's draining life, we should probably put that on the Blue Mage so that we can get double the life back. Go, double attack. If we were to use that on uh, Drifty, uh, since he has two attacks, he'll gain an additional attack, so he'll be swinging three times. Um, the Time Mage gets a couple of physical attack moves, but mainly they do magic attack stuff. Um, and their physical attack moves will take TP, and their magical moves, or their magic attacks will take MP. So if I were to do a quick attack, I should, uh... You can see that he didn't go all the way back to the end, he went halfway back. So, um... It says 33% in the description, I'm going to fix that, it's actually 50%, so it's going to be fine. The Time Bolt is basically the same thing as the Delay Attack, it's going to send them back a little bit, but it doesn't take TP, it takes MP, so we'll go ahead and hit this thing with the Time Bolt. It should send it, well he's already at the end, but he would have been sent back, it should target something else. Did that water just hit? Uh, I wonder if I made a. Uh, there seems to be an, an error there with the uh, unrelated skill. I need to fix that water skill. I think the water elemental targeted himself with the water skill. Um, so we have one more um, ability that we haven't really shown. Quick is going to double action times, but it's not going to do anything. So let's put uh, X attack on Drifty and see uh, if it will add an extra attack. So he's already swinging twice, but now he should be swinging three times. I'm also going to use an item that's going to. 
restore HP, MP, TP, and also put them, uh, put your party on top of the, the list of uh, turns. Two, three. So now that we have our TP, let's use the the limit break of the time mage. So we're going to use time storm. This is going to stop the enemies. Uh, it's going to add haste to all your allies, and it's going to do time damage. And you see uh, the that the, the time mage has gone, let to, uh, has been able to go again because his agility is already naturally high. So we could do a time bolt on uh, the burning soul. Let's go ahead and uh, finish him off, I guess, with the special. Let's do a time storm, this should finish him. Cool. So let me show you uh, how to make the time uh, time mage. So you'll have to do a few things, and you'll need a few plugins. I'll put a link in the description for all the plugins that you're going to need. Uh, to save time, I won't go into that. We're going to create some new skills, but before we do that, we're going to take a look at the classes. So the time mage, these abilities will be awarded at whatever level you see fit. I would say that the, you'd want them to probably uh, start with uh, a time bolt. And then after a little while, maybe we'll say level 5, you'll give them stop, or, or 7, you'll give them stop. And then you'll probably give them haste pretty soon as well. But before the haste, you'll probably want to give them uh, the quick attack. So I'll probably give this around like level 9 or something. And then the delay attack will be close to about the same amount of time. And then we'll say haste is probably going to be at level 15. Now this will be changed around completely. Time Storm, whatever, you, uh, probably level 30 or something as an ultimate, or you can use the skill learning system, which I'm going to be doing, but I just wanted to show you all of his skills right off the bat. Um, Stopaga and Hastiga are the all enemies versions of the same spell, so probably give uh, Stopaga first, probably like at level 20 or so. Hastiga probably at like level 25, I would say. X attacks pretty strong, I would probably go with 35 on that. And then the, the double action's probably stronger than X attack, so quick, probably be level 45 or 50. And you'll change all of these around to suit your game. Also, it would depend on your experience curve and how many max levels you're going to have. Let's look at the parameter curves for the time age. So we have uh, rank C on the HP, rank A on the MP, because it's going to be mainly like a caster. Rank D on attack, we're going to go with rank C on defense. Um, Rank C, or no, it was a rank B on magic attack. Uh, rank C on magic defense. We're going to be rank A on luck. Or on, uh, on agility, sorry. Because the time age is going to be focused on uh, agility enhancing and agility debuffing. You could even create another skill I was thinking about doing where it just creates an agility debuff to the enemies. But then if you combine that with stop, it could really be overpowered. So I decided to uh, opt not to do that. Uh, and then rank C luck. So those are parameter curves. Um, you're going to create a couple new types, so let's go over to our types. We're going to create a time element, that's going to be a type of damage. And we're going to create a skill type called Jikan. And uh, that's going to be uh, a time uh, skill attack. As for weapon types, I would imagine you give them like a scepter or a staff, or even like a banner type thing. So you can do whatever you want on that. So that's it for the, the class, basically. Um, I've let them use general, magic, and light armor and uh, sealed so they can't use a shield. I've increased their evasion rate and their critical rate 1%. Like I said, you could do whatever you want on that. Let's look at the skills. So we're going to have to create a few states in order to make these skills. The first skills that we're going to make are uh, haste. So here's what you'll do. You give it a name, a description, an icon. Uh, you're going to put it on that G-Can type. You're going to set it to one ally. Occasion, up to you, battle screen or always. It's uh, really your, your discretion right there. 
I thought it'd be a good idea to, to be able to buff before combat, so I threw that on there. As always, I might change that later. MP cost will be depending on how many MP you're going to be giving your party members, so this will be a change. Uh, you'll be changing this, of course. Like I said, everything that I'm showing you is just a template and some ideas for you that you can change up to customize for your game and, and improve upon it. So your invocation on this would be a certain hit because it's a buff you would hit for your enemy, to, your ally to resist it. So we're going to certain hit that, give it a custom animation. You could say it's a spell basically, so you probably want to have it cast. It doesn't need any damage, but we're going to add a state. And we're going to go to states after this, so we're going to add the haste state to this skill. Uh, quick, we're going to add the quick state. Everything will be about the same as it was in uh, the haste. And for stop, it's the same thing. Uh, you're going to basically make these a magical attack. Uh, since since uh, these two are basically buffs, right? You're going to put them on your allies. So you want them to certain hit so that um, your 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 own of magic evasion isn't going to come into effect with certain hit. But however, you can make stop a certain hit if you want, or you can make it a magical attack. Um, so that it could be resisted or, or magic reflected. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. I wanted to give the option of a magic reflect on this, so I want the magic attack. You can also adjust the rate, so you can set this to 75% or 80% or 50%. It's up to you. So this is it for the single target spells. We'll scroll on down. Our X attack, we're going to go and add an X attack state. Uh, we'll be adding a bunch of states right after this. Um, same thing, it'll be one ally. You could also make an all allies version of this, call it uh, X Attack 2 or Mass X Attack or whatever you want to call it. Uh, battle screen probably on this one. And since uh, a lot of the ones that I've set for battle screen occasion only, uh, they're basically going to go for three to four rounds or until the, the combat's over. Hastiga, same thing, uh, except now this is the. You can basically copy paste your haste, uh, haste spell and make it all allies. That's all you would really change on that. And then the MP cost, of course. Stopka, same thing, copy paste the stop, make it an all allies, change the MP cost. And you could give it a different animation, but I would just stick with the same animation. Um, quick attack, basically, now you're gonna have an, a physical attack, and instead of MP cost, you're gonna go with TP costs. As for the damage formula on this, I've gone with the slightly higher than your regular attack to just make up for the fact that it's using uh, TP. So instead of times four, I'm going with times five. I'm also making this uh, using the time element uh, damage that we've created. Give it a custom animation, everything you want. Set it to physical attack. You can have it require a weapon if you want. Um, what we're doing here is going to put something in the note tag though for this. So we're going to uh, type in brackets. You're going to need uh, Yanfly's uh, core engine, battle engine core, uh, and you're also the expansion for that, the CTV battle system. I'll put links in the description for all of those plugins that you're going to need. You're going to put in some uh, brackets in the note tags. You're going to type in after CTV, and you're going to go plus 50%. Now for the delay attack, we're going to use a different note tag. We're still using the same formula with time damage, HP damage. Critical hits all up to you. I would allow, I, I allow it to. I think it's basically an attack that should be able to critical hit. But it's also going to take TP here. Uh, we're making this a physical attack, and it's all going to be into the, the G10 um, skill type. Uh, I've made custom uh, icons, and there's videos I'll link, uh, I guess I'll put in the note tags up here on the cards, where you can uh, see how to make your custom icon. Um, we're going to use a note tag here called CTV Speed, minus 33%. Uh, time Bolt is the same thing as the delay attack, except now it's a magical attack. It's taking MP instead of TP. It's using magical attack instead of attack, and it's uh, also using the same note tag there. And it has a different animation, so it's basically a similar... Uh, version of the same effect using different stats and uh, different costs. Time Storm is our limit break. Uh, this is using the Holy Circle, uh, slightly modified Holy Circle uh, uh, action sequence that I've put. A, I've already made a video for, so I can put that on the cards too, so you guys can uh, link to that to see how to make this. I can also scroll if you guys want to pause. Um, the animation numbers will be different, and the state numbers will be different for you. Keep that in mind. Um, I've made this a certain hit so that it's you're going to spend 75 TP or 100 TP on it. It's gonna you want it to be able to hit. So that's it for the the skills. Let's go to the states. Uh, luckily, some of these states are reused. So um, our X attack state. Uh, basically, this is super easy to do. Remove it into battle. Give it a three to four duration turn or whatever you like. 50 priority will work fine. Give it an icon. You can make a custom one if you want. And then you're going to use attack times. So you would just go over to 
um, attack and go to attack times plus one. That's going to increase their attacks uh, plus one. So we'll go over to the haste state and uh, the stop state. So stop state, really, really easy to do. Remove it into battle, three to four turn duration. You're going to do cannot move. So it's basically like a paralysis. Um, basically, that's all it is. It's just a paralysis, except we're not taking ev evasion away. We're just making it so that they can't act. Um, and that's it for that. Quick, you're going to do an action times plus. So you're going to go over to uh, other. And you're going to do action times plus 100%. And that'll give them an extra action every turn. Really, really powerful spell. Um, state if uh, it's used with the default battle system if you're using that. Uh, turn in three to four turns, remove it into battle. Uh, and our haste state, we're going to be adding some things. If you're using the ATB, you're going to use these note tags. If you're using the CTB, you're going to use these note tags. And this is basically going to mean if, you, if you're hasted at the beginning of the, of the, the fight, before battle, you're going to start uh, with a little bit uh, higher order of events. So you're going to be able to act a little bit quicker than something that isn't hasted and also this is the bigger buff the CTB turn 25% so at the at the end of your turn you are also are uh, you won't go all the way to the end you'll have a little bit of buff and where you'll be uh, able to make more actions per turn we're gonna also increase our agility with a parameter change right here just set your agility uh, to 120% that's gonna give a 20% buff and we're gonna increase our attack speed by 100 that seems like a lot but it's really not that much Priority 50 seems to be fine. I've allowed haste to last a little bit longer than the rest of them. Just uh, it's up to you if you want to change this. I've gone five to six turns on this. Remove at the end of battle. Um, I believe that's all. We got haste, quick, stop. We went through uh, the X attack and also the the state for yeah. We went through all that. So um, as far as weapons and armor, you can specify what they want to use. I think that's about it. Um, hopefully you guys like this video. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you like this sort of content, if you enjoy these class spotlights. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much, and thank you for being awesome. Continue to ask your questions in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.